It all comes down to a decision you make. That's the first step. Then comes taking action no matter the circumstances. It all boils down to one word. Discipline. I talk about discipline a lot because it's something I lacked for most of my life. After many years, I realized how crucial discipline is and how to build it. It wasn't an overnight success. It was a journey filled with trying, failing, creating systems and slipping out of them. But I made it possible for myself to keep going. Especially on those days when I didn't feel like it or when it seemed like the world was against me. In reality, it was never impossible. I was turning possible into impossible by not being responsible and not holding myself accountable. Anyways, the other night I was going through my journal and I found a few key elements about discipline and I thought it would be interesting to share them. First of all, discipline needs foundation. Since I developed a discipline system that works for me, every day I wake up feeling on top of the world. I'm ready to tackle anything that comes my way without procrastination, excuses or nonsense. This feeling that I have, energy, mood, mode, whatever you want to call it, this whole discipline system that I have, it's not about motivation and it's not temporary. I'm confident it will never fade because of the strong foundation I've built. A foundation constructed on numerous failures and getting back on my feet. Celebrating small wins even when feeling like a loser. And dealing with frustration by vowing never to let it get the best out of me. I've built this foundation on self-respect and self-love. Find it cliche, but that's my foundation. Self-respect and self-love. The next key element would be the core of the foundation. The core of this foundation is discipline. I tried being disciplined many times. Making to-do lists, completing tasks, reflecting on my day and myself. I even had moments of momentum, but consistency was a challenge. Nonetheless, I kept moving forward and working toward my goals. Eventually, I realized that big dreams are achieved through consistent, small steps. These small steps lead us to our desired destinations. I genuinely believe that you reap what you sow. The effort you put in is directly proportional to the results you achieve over time. As an example, if I want to earn a certain amount of money, it won't just magically appear on my doorstep. It comes to me as I take action, as I move toward that goal. If I genuinely desire it, if it's something that I truly want, I start acting like someone who's already achieved it. This is just one example. Money is energy, a concept, and that's a discussion for another time. I firmly believe that when you want something deeply, you find a way to attain it. I assure you there is no such a thing as failure. When you fail, you learn and you move forward. Failure isn't a reflection of who you are. It's a part of your journey. Accept it. The next key element would be the journey. It's all part of the path and your journey. Everything that happens to you is a result of your choices, not external forces. One of my favorite quotes is from Matthew McConaughey, which resonates with this part. Do not fall into the entitlement trap. You are not a victim. Life is never fair. It wasn't, it isn't, and it will never be. Get on with it, move on, learn your lesson, and start again. Every once in a while, I remind myself what McConaughey said. It's a beautiful quote and it's a fact. Here's the most vital realization. This is me. Some days, I feel great. And some days, I don't. But I have a mission to fulfill, regardless of how I feel. Once I genuinely accepted this, everything changed. My perspective, productivity, and mindset. I am who I am at the end of the day. And I will become the version of myself I choose to be today. The truest and the most authentic version. I'm constantly evolving and upgrading my authentic self, just like everyone else trying to be true to themselves. We're all on a journey of learning and evolving. My final words. So my friends, I'll conclude with a reminder. As always, be yourself, be honest with yourself, and eliminate excuses. You have no reason for excuses, whether they're for someone else or for yourself. Be true to yourself and stay honest. Just do this. Be true to yourself and stay honest. That's it. Keep shining. And never forget to be yourself, not someone else you're trying to emulate. Just be yourself. Thanks so much for listening, and much love to you all.